How often have you driven around town and seen some beautiful landscaping done, some gorgeous paving, and wondered, man, I'd love to get something done like that. Well, you can. And Groundscape is the people who you want to call. Wayne Guillot, how are you? Good to see you. Likewise. You all right? Yes, sir. Well, good. We, we are going to show you a few different jobs that you've done today, actually. Let's start with this one and uh, tell us a little bit about Groundscape and the, the company. We're, we're a design installation company. We do drainage, we do pavers, we do uh, maintenance. Those, to name some of the few, we, mm -hmm. do, we do a little lighting every now and then, but yeah. for the most part, we're, uh, we, we do, we've been around for a while, so we have customers that have been with us for the last 17 years. Now, we're going to show you some of the different jobs that they've done today and some of the th different things that they can do, starting with this one right here. Beautiful, beautiful groundscape, well named. So, tell us about what you've done here. We, we've changed the grade elevation on the, on the property so that, so that the water used to flow completely across. Now we've elevated the beds so that they don't stay wet. Mm -hmm. we've, uh, there's, there's two types of drainage you can put in. One is, uh, is surface and subsurface. This, in this area, we've incorporated both. We actually have the, the ground with a swell in it so it pulls the surface water. Then on the other end, we have a large grate which, which uh, drains it underneath the road into the uh, larger drainage ditch, mm -hmm. which is subsurface. And we have subsurface grates uh, protruding out the ground periodically to, to keep the water from running, making the water run where we want it to and not where it, it just wants, tends to. Wants to just sit there and sit. Correct. And then if you see going down here, you've got more, this beautiful landscaping. Yes, and what, and what we had to do here, we had, uh, uh, you can imagine this, this house has been under construction for uh, almost two years. So there, ha there has been a lot of uh, uh, traffic Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. vehicular and, and, uh, and, and, and traffic, uh, tractor traffic. So the ground was in really bad shape. We've hauled in a lot of dirt and got everything up to grade. Uh, we try to get it as, as, as smooth as possible. Uh, the, one of the biggest problems we had on this location was uh, uh, it was winter time and we kept getting the rains. Right. And the rains, uh, this type of slope doesn't like a lot of water. But no. you can see we, we, it's come out really nice. The, here, now look, look at the pavers and everything. You did all this as well. No, we didn't. We didn't did do. do we didn't. We didn't do the brick in You can. You can. I, we I can. Know, I know. We you, can. I've seen that. Matter of fact, there's some uh, great stuff on your website. How about these here? Yes, we did do the uh, okay. the, uh, the pavers, the concrete pavers. Okay. And this this these pavers are sitting on about an eight to ten inch limestone base. Mm -hmm. So the, it's it's highly compacted, and and then the pavers are laid on top of it. Uh, then, then if you notice, uh, there's some sand in between the cracks, which uh, which seal the the keep the insects and whatnot from uh, the insects and the and the weeds from coming through, and the insects from boring, especially the ants. Ants love these things. Let's take you out back and show you some more of the pretty work that uh, Groundscape has done here on this beautiful home. What a beautiful view back here! It is. Uh, we we incorporated all the beds. Uh, the layout and mm -hmm. uh, the grass. We, like I said earlier, we tried to get the grass, the, the yard to grade so it, it drains really well. And you even did the little creek up front with yes. the rock, with the yes, rock beds. Yes, we did. We, uh, we, we installed that and we, we, we kind of went overboard. We have a liner on the bottom with the rock on the top so we have no erosion later on. That's important. Well, we want to go show you another house now that Groundscape Incorporated has done. Now, Wayne, we're at another house here that this is kind of a uh, work in progress. Tell us, tell us what you got going on here. We, we actually came in and removed a lot of the existing shrubbery. It was either overgrown or uh, had, had uh, problems, uh, hadn't been maintained, mm -hmm. either fertilized or, or, or chemical uh, for pests. So we, the, the, and, the, and the homeowner, it's a new homeowner, she didn't like what was here, so right. we actually took it out. Uh, you can see where we trimmed the crepe myrtles back off the house, and, and we left some of the existing stuff that, that we feel will, uh, will go with the new landscape that we're putting in. Now I notice this house here doesn't have any gutters on it. So, I mean, but, but I mean, it's a pitched roof. So what do you do about that? Well, it's, it's usually a homeowner preference, but when, when we have a, a say in it, we'll actually come in and put some drainage at the base where mm -hmm. we don't have to worry about the leaves clogging the gutters. Uh, now it does have, it does have gutters on the other side of the house. Right. And what we'll do there is we'll actually tie in uh, some drain pipe and drain it outside the bed so that all the water is not not incorporated or included in the in the bed and, and uh, hurt the plant material. That's that was some of the problem here. Well, of course, I'm sure one of the things you have to take in consideration when you're putting up gutters is how much with trees around it, leaves getting in the gutters, having to clean all that out all the time, especially pine straw. That stuff's a pain. 
yeah, it's it's hard to blow pine straw when it's when it's all it matted really together. Is. You you can see on this one where where we've uh, we have everything dug up, ready to put in. We're, we're actually waiting for because it's a stucco house. Mm -hmm. We're waiting for the uh, pest control people to come in and spray it. Then we'll come in and add our uh, our rock and our edging. Well, I noticed I noticed the bottom of the house is is uh, like a couple of inches off the ground. Why is that? I mean, are you gonna they got to spray that underneath there. Uh, they tell me that the the way the stucco is attached to the block, the, it allows the termites to to crawl up 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 behind it and into the a wooded area. So you go you you clear that out and you put the uh, then spray it up underneath there. They'll they'll come and spray spray a, 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 a something for termites, mm -hmm. and then we'll come in and put the gravel, put the edging on it, then mm -hmm. then we'll come in and, and put the plant material and mulch the beds. Well, this is really nice, and, and I guess one of the things too is, you know, once you come in here, this has a, a, a watering system, irrigation system. I guess that's the, the white water pipe that runs through there. Correct. Um, and, you know, for the places to to water it, and you come through here and kind of, I mean, do you get with the the owner to decide as far as what kind of plants you put in here? Give suggestions to what they should put in here. We we find out what they like, mm -hmm. and we find out if it if it fits. Sometimes they want something that's in full sun. They want to put it in part shade. It doesn't always work for the plant right. material, so so we're, we're trying. It's kind of like this fatsia. This this fatsia is exist is existing plant material. Uh -huh. We will probably leave it, but it's, it's really it's, nice. It is. If you dig one out, let me know. I'll come get it. <laughs> I'll, <laughs> put it in my yard. I'll put you in my speed dial. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate that. But, but you that. can see it's got some dead some dead branches in there. Mm -hmm. of, of the the bad frost that we've had. Yeah. And that plus the fact that it might have had too much water in there. Yeah, we have had quite a bit of rain. And the, the sun, it, it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't always like direct full sunlight. Now, we got less than a minute left, so I want to talk a minute about, um, so, you know, we're going to come back on another date, and we're going to show you the finish project with this, how it's done up. And then uh, uh, one of the big things, too, is after you've done something like this, the importance of maintenance afterwards. And that's something else that y'all do, too. Correct. We, we'll come back and, and properly trim fertilize and, and uh, we use some, some of the insecticides we use are systemic, mm -hmm. where we actually put them in the ground and the, and the root system draws it up into the plant where it keeps the plants, the insects from feeding on them. Right. Uh, I don't know everything, but I, I do know who to call. I work really well with the uh, extension people. Mm -hmm. they, they are a lot of help to me because if I have a problem, I'll usually get with them and they, they, can, they can point me in the right direction. All right, well, I'll tell you what, 15 seconds left, real quick, website's on your screen. If you want some more information, groundscapeinc.net, or give them a call. I'm sure you'd be glad to come out to the house and uh, our business and give them an estimate. Sure would. Wayne, thank you so much. All right, Jim. You want to make your grounds look good? Give them a call.